in this video we're gonna make our login page uh, so let's just get started our database is already done so I mean if you're following my previous video so you know how to like uh, update like or uh, download it or upload it to uh, your server anyways uh, I just want to show you like uh, what I've done over here I just create a simple default page which is gonna be our uh, home page there's nothing over here I have cr I didn't create any link or anything over here it's just a simple basic page with the table so uh, first of all we're gonna create our login page and uh, in login page uh, we need a login and uh, if the user come over here on our uh, home page so if we want to log out so we're gonna create that too and when the user put the wrong login like username or password so it will go to our uh, login fail uh, page alright uh, so first thing first and uh, we're gonna create our login page first so let's uh, open our login I just wanna recheck my CSS settings Geneva 12 apply okay I'm gonna go to common take a simple table with three rows zero column and 100 percent click OK in the middle row I'm gonna use a form tab and uh, select form when you select form you will see the form name over here so just name it FRM login inside the form let's go to common and I will select another uh, three rows with two columns and 400 pixels and I will put the height of this please 30 so I can use uh, as a username and password I will put this on to middle bold and just put the uh, width or 200 pixel so it look nice and I'll put here please enter your username and password build I'll put this hide please in 30 we'll give the background color to this okay and uh, now let's go to form and uh, add our text field let's name this one as a txt username username and we need another one for a password so we name that one as txt password and then we need uh, one button and we select this and name login okay so uh, just make sure you select your form okay go to server behavior click on plus icon and you'll see user authentication and you uh, click on login user get input from form you already create the form uh, which is our uh, from login and uh, it will show your uh, username field which is uh, this text boxes we chose earlier the txt username and txt password and uh, validating user connection so we already made our connection before and if you don't know how to make a connection you can see my previous videos and 
you can see how to make the connections and uh, the table that we want uh, where we have a username and password is a table user so the username column which is going to be a username and the password column uh, we're going to select the password and then over here if the login succeed we go to our uh, home page which is a default page and if a login fails we go to our uh, in a login we choose a login fail okay and the username and password and access level going to be uh, get level from uh, access level ID and we press OK and it's, uh, if you notice over here it shows in our uh, server behavior log in user if you go to a bindings you will see a sessions over here uh, I create one session which is mm uh, underscore user ID it's really easy just uh, click on plus button and click on uh, session variable and just type uh, as is that's a mm uh, sorry about this and just type like a mm underscore user ID and when you click OK it will uh, show you this uh, mm user ID session why I use this uh, mm user ID session because when uh, anybody log in so when you go to uh, the home page so it show, uh, I want to show the nickname so by the user ID I can get the nickname over here okay in the default uh, or our home page uh, we don't want to show our home page to anyone so we want to create a security like for example like only the user or um, I mean uh, the user who have uh, username and password or register to our website they can use only this so we go to server behavior and we uh, put the restriction on our page click the plus button and uh, uh, you will see the user authentication under the user uh, authentication you will see restricted restrict access to page so we click the username and password and we select both and click browse if access deny go to login okay and press okay and I want to save it all Secondly, what I want to do is uh, I want to get a nickname over here. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, create the record set. RS users. And I'll select the table RS user. And over here, I will choose the user ID uh, on the filter. I want to filter by user ID and equals from ses uh, s session variable remember that we have created before then mm so that we will write here mm user ID okay so if we test it for example if I put one we'll show you one if you test user ID 2 it will show you 2 or so on and let's click it OK. Go to binding. In a binding, you will see a nickname. So I want to show the nickname over here. So just uh, select that and backspace to delete this. And just click and drag your nickname over here. OK, and save all. And I want to upload my page. So I want to upload my home page and the login page before I do that I want to create that login fails too so just uh, open that login fail and uh, just I want to just simply type over here the username or password is incorrect please try again okay. put login just select this 
and give it the link to login page save all okay and for a logout we simply just uh, click anywhere on the page go to application panel server behavior and uh, again user authentication and uh, select logout user and uh, one page then go to login okay save all and I'm gonna upload this to my server and let's uh, check this out when I type over here a uh, phone book so it should go to the default page so when uh, the default page or our home page has a restriction it cannot show without the username and password so let's try our uh, a wrong let's try to put the wrong username and password so it should take us to our uh, fail uh, the username uh, or password is incorrect please try again and let's to login again so let's see if I put the correct uh, username and password so uh, my username is admin and my password was Z and I click it OK and you can see over here it says e-diary like it's come to our home page and it says welcome Z the man which is my nickname now we have add one more thing we have to put uh, the logout thing. so what we're gonna do we're gonna open our uh, dream viewer and we're gonna open our uh, home page and just select this and link to logout it's that simple save all and upload our home page again okay and now uh, we'll try to refresh this and simply log out and it will take you to our uh, login page again alrighty I have uh, done a small mistake there. Uh, just uh, open your logout page again, and under the application and server behavior panel, you double click the logout. Uh, double click on that, so it will open the logout user. And uh, instead of uh, choosing the link clicked, just choose the page load and click it OK. So in that way, uh, whatever uh, it says uh, logout over here before it should be like this log out so just remove this okay and uh, save it all and uh, then uh, upload this so what it do is uh, when you press log out it will just take you direct to the uh, direct to the login page for example again like uh, I will choose admin and that's my password and when you select logout it will take you right away to uh, the login page and there's one more thing I've uh, done wrong which is if you go to a login and when you choose this uh, the password it should be uh, just click it not should be a uh, um, I mean type a single line word over text it should be a password so just uh, save it all okay and uh, just upload this and uh, refresh this page again and now when you click on admin and it should not show you the password okay fair enough now I want to add uh, one more thing before I complete this because remember this uh, uh, the mm user ID that